this box is bad. Both of the new Maxim monsters have skills less impactful than Magnum Overlord and Yggdrago. So if you want to summon a maximum, you want to be playing one of those decks instead. Bill Dragon is very mechanically similar to Super King Rex, except the requirement is harsher. The Buster Blader deck is okay, but the skill is unactivatable against Magnum Overlord, Seven's Axel Road, Harpies, and any other deck that uses a boss monster below 2300. And the deck itself is going to be underperforming if you are not facing a dragon deck. Shield Boring Kong would be a good tool in aggro, but due to the limit 3, there is no reason to use it over Dragius. And plants feature a boss monster that removes itself from the field at the end of the turn, leaving you wide open to counterattacks. Card revitalization is potentially okay in Thunder decks, but I would be surprised if it is what takes it back into the meta. And finally, while Pieces of Blistopia is a good card, it feels a few formats too late. The game has progressed past the point where just sitting on a 1900 vanilla or a big boss monster is going to win you the game. As we can tell by Blue Eyes not being at the top of the meta. Additionally, the ban list has done approximately nothing to shake up the meta. I was already only on two Aim Eagles because the third copy is locked behind paying for the structure deck. The only thing I did was change Negate Attack over to Widespread Ruin and remove a couple of Ghost Cyclone for the third Barrage of Steel and an additional Trap card, which honestly probably could be a Talismanic Steel Array, um, Recital, or just another Assault Cannon. Similarly, in the Cyber Stack, one copy of Attitude Hydron becomes the third Mani. And then we see Widespread Ruin over Negate Attack. Very minor changes to decks that are very dominant. I expect to continue seeing these decks and Royal Rebels in high level tournament play. It's a short video for a very disappointing box. To finish this off, I'm going to be showing you all a match I played in which my opponent summoned the excavator twice in a row, but it simply did not matter because the new deck cannot compete with the decks we already have. 